Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to start here with, uh, with you. Um, my name is Omar Terrazas. I'm head deputy on online high school program and National, Univers National Autonomous University of Mexico, UNAM. Um, in today, I'm um, uh, tell about this this experience. Uh, is uh, an other online program the called Bachillerato en Línea Pilares for the Mexico City, developed on obviously in model platform. In 2027, the Ministry of Education, Science, Technology, and Innovation, SECTE of Mexico City, approached the Distance High School of UNAM to create a hybrid ed educational program called Bachillerato CDMX. But it, this is not a uh, program. <laughs> but it was in 2020 when SECTE set the goal to improve the strength, the quality of the educational offers for high school education in alternative modalities. They asked the distance high school to update the program and adjust the management model to offer it completely online, which give risks to the Bachillerato en Línea Pilares, BLP. Okay. The goal of this high school is to contribute to the social webbing of Mexico City by forming active and engagement citizens. The city is itself becomes the object of study analyzed from the interdisciplinary perspective, focusing in, on its problems and solutions. The design restrictions set at the beginning is our the program is centrally online, uh, requiring a new management model that replaces the original in-person component of the hybrid program. The program must address the most important problems of Mexico, Mexico City based on the evidence from 2020 literature to promote learning that connects with the real world context. Ow. The rights and duties of cities residents must match current laws is so necessary to review and update those contexts. <laughs> um, this is uh, the map of the curricular program is a complex map. Each, each subject is based or, on three or four main disciplines with two or three complementary disciplines, includes Spanish, English, computing, and arts in the transversal way. In this map, you can identify the disciplines that interact in each in each subject. For example, uh, contextos y espacios, um, libertades y movimiento, y on the color circles represent the disciplines. Uh, I hope the previous map was clear enough to show the complexity is this curriculum, uh, but, but I uh, just like this educational modem is 
Complexity is also reflected in its technological implementation. One of the first conditions of this technological development, everything was designed to create a pleasant and efficient user experience, both on mobile devices and desktop computers. Each subject has unique elements, for example, for color schemes, to and the experts who appear on the screen in the videos. Uh, this is some examples of the screens of the, the subjects. Um, one of the first design conditions was, was to ensure the students review the content and did skip directly to the activities. I know it's easy to solve, configure the restrictions on each activity, but our contents designed for this program is on HTML content and the activities they stay across the, the content for you know, we, our team. They, they developed the plugin, the module plugin, call it personal desktop. Then with this plugin, the students log in outside the module platform and the first uh, screen see the inside the platform is this screen. The student see only courses in enrolling, but module make this very well, but these links no Sorry, <laughs> I'm really nervous. Is my first presentation? Okay. These links link to, to the HTML content directly without the Moodle table of activities with the intention the student um, student um, review each of the page of content and release each of activities alongside the curricular content. This is an, ex an example, the um, H5P, embedded into the content with um, like these activities, um, each, each the courses have um, 18 and 100 activities for this, it, the importance, the, these activities appear alongside the content. Another, the plugins development is a observation test activity. For the first course of the high school program, Exini Initial Experience, we developed a visual attention test where the students faces a random image and then has to answer three questions about it. The first time, it's very confusing for the students. 
but the goal is that as they progress their ability to pay attention to details in props. Additionally, the student can use a statistical component of this plugin to see a graph showing in their progress through the different tests in this course. Um, finally, is I just want to mention a couple of, st of statistics. Since it began, six hundred fifteen students have graduated, and there are currently two thousand seven hundred fifty six students act active students in this program. Um, thank you. Thank you.